G'day, I'm Mad Matt. I've just spent a fantastic weekend away at the Tough Truck Australia Challenge. This same weekend there was another event on that I couldn't make. It's an event being held by with National Parks and the Four Wheel Drive Association working together for a sustainable recreation. Now what I did was I sent my camera crew along and a mate of mine, Darren, to find out all about how these two organisations are working together so that we can enjoy the four wheel driving in the Gardner Stones National Park. Well g'day, I'm Darren and we're out here at Gardens of Stone National Park. It's a very exciting day. We're down here with the Full Drive Association and we're also um, partnered with the National Parks and we're down doing some tree planting to regenerate uh, an area that has been uh, given back to National Parks. David Noble's the ranger, we're going to have a chance to chat with him a little bit later on and uh, he's made all of this uh, possible, working very closely with the association and uh, we're pretty excited about the opportunity. A little bit of history about the Gardens of Stone National Park, uh, the Bicentennial Trail runs through it. Bicentennial Trail is one of the longest marked trails in the world and uh, it runs pretty much the full length of Australia. There's over 20 clubs represented out here today. we are uh, all got our different shirts on and we're all pretty excited about being a part of this. It's sort of a bit of history in the making where national parks and four-wheel drive owners are working together to just create, um, you know, restore the environment back to a place where we can all enjoy visiting and just preparing it and restoring it for our children and our children's children. We're hoping that we will see uh, some, yeah, some real positive relationships grown here between national parks and the four-wheel drive community. Hi, I'm Andrew from Crossed Up 4x4 Club. We're here today doing a tree planting with National Parks and Wildlife. Hi, I'm Josh and I'm from the Shoalhaven 4 Wheel Drive Club. Hi, I'm Rowan, this is Molly. We're from Black Diamond 4 Wheel Drive Club. I'm Alison, this is Emma, we've got James and Hubby Tom, we're here to help out today too. I'm from Ronda, I'm Ronda and I'm from Dustin Dirt. Uh, hi, I'm Neil and this is Beth. We're here with Crossed Up 4x4 to plant trees for National Parks and Wildlife. Hi, I'm John, I'm the president of Crossed Up 4x4. I'm Brian. Um, part of 4x4, uh, Sydney District 4x4. I'm Jill and I'm from the same club, Sydney District 4 wheel drive club. I'm Shane McClymont from Crossed Up 4x4 and current Vice President of the uh, Association. Hi, I'm um, Karen Starr, I'm from Shoalhaven 4 wheel drive club. I'm Craig Thomas, I'm the President of the Four Wheel Drive New South Wales ACT Association and the association has organised this with its members to plant a thousand trees with national parks in Garden of Stone. It's something that quite a few clubs have done in the past. This is not the first time it's been done. It's probably the first time it's been done with so many different clubs though. We're lucky enough to have 23 clubs here this weekend and we're working closely with the rangers which is something a bit different. Uh, we're trying to demonstrate that there's better ways to get access to parks, not just standing in a street and screaming. We actually get down and, and help parks and gain access that way and work with them so they understand how we operate and we can understand how they operate. Having this many people, this many clubs involved in one activity, working with parks so closely, it's very historical. And it's a, it's a demonstration of something that we've been seeing heading towards for about the last two years and this is a real turning point and the fallout from this or the ripple effect from this will be large, it will be really large. Well this is Gardens of Stone National Park, um, a newly acquired block we've had added to the park. It was um, cleared in the past for um, grazing purposes but now it's National Park, we're planting it out and um, the reason why we're planting is for the, the region honey eater, one of the threatened species in the Capity Valley here. But basically I suppose the association approached National Parks and said are there any projects that um, could be done in the park and um, there was some tree planting done at Turon last year and then I said well we've got some more to do in Gardens of Stone this year, would you like to help out? And um, the association said yeah we'll see what we can do. Initially it'll probably will be club members. Uh, if we can demonstrate then that four-wheel drivers are sensible and they can be con controlled and managed, um, then I would imagine it would be open to other four-wheel drivers on a permit system. The goal is not just for association members, it's for all four-wheel drivers in the end, but it has to start somewhere, so yes. 
Hi, I'm Logan Starn. I'm from Shoalhaven Four Wheel Drive Club. I'm John I'm with the Shoalhaven Four Wheel Drive Club. Good morning, my name is Shirley. I'm with Dust and Dirt, as you can see. My name is Marty, and I'm from the Southern Cross Four Wheel Drive Club in Sydney. Hi, I'm Dan from Crossed Up 4x4. It's Brad, Dan, we're from the Sydney District 4x4. I'm Rhonda McClymouth, I'm with the Crossed Up 4 Wheel Drive Club. I'm Jenny and I'm with Brad and we're from Sydney 4x4 and having fun, building fences. I'm John Edmonds, I'm from the uh, Southern Cross 4 Wheel Drive Club of Sydney and we're here today to hopefully make things better in this, uh, in this area for future generations. Talking to the president, he's just been impressed with uh, the turn up and the positive attitude that everyone's had about it. We've been, uh, we put some stakes in, we're putting some protective netting around those plants now, we're just finalising that at the moment, just to keep the kangaroos and things like that away. So I encourage you, if you're out there driving on the four wheel drive trails, just if you see plants being protected in this way, just stay away from them and know that, you know, this is part of the four wheel drive community that's been involved in this. Oh, it's a great benefit for, for us because um, well, for me to plant a thousand trees, and particularly with the tree guards, we're putting steel tree guards on. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, and 200, 150 people make um, make it easy for us, and we can get it all done within a, a day or so. But four wheel drives helping out national parks, and hopefully national parks can help out four wheel drives. Yeah, thank you to everyone that's come to help out. It's been an uh, overwhelming response, so hopefully it's a really good weekend. I'm um, Matt from Crossed Up 4x4. Uh, Brett Chanel, President of um, Dustin Dirt 4 Wheel Drive Club. Hey, I'm Alan Curl. And I'm Tracy Curl. We're from Central Coast 4 Wheel Drive Club. Hi, I'm Rachel from Crossed Up 4x4. I'm Roger from uh, Sydney District 4x4, just helping out um, with National Parks and Wildlife, doing what we can. <laughs> I'm Barron from the Central Coast 4 Wheel Drive Club. Out here enjoying the bush. Right, I've managed to grab uh, Shane, who's uh, Vice President of the Full Drive Association, and he's managed to uh, coordinate a lot of this today. So Shane, what was the uh, main drive behind today? Uh, to promote a sustainable relationship with uh, national parks, to um, give uh, full drivers uh, a, an opportunity to put back into the um, national parks that we're not just hoons and, and things like that and to um, hopefully provide a sustainable partnership with them, continue working and doing different things. Not only are we helping national parks out, we're promoting the Full Drive Association, um, education, training and hopefully access will follow that as well. Main reasons for joining an association or a club which is affiliated with an association, it's really quite simple. You need to be represented on a, a level that's accepted by the government. And the only way you can do that is to be in an association. So an affiliated club in an association is acknowledged by all the government departments, all the main media, all those sort of things. And it gives us a strong voice, not just a voice in the wilderness, but one that's recognised national wide. It's not just there's a state association and we're affiliated with a national association. We're also affiliated with other associations. So Australia-wide, we represent over 500,000 club members. So as we wrap up a long day, it's been um, hard work, it's been tiring work, planted over a thousand trees with 150 to 200 uh, people from just different clubs from all over New South Wales. We sit back, dinner's on the fire, having a cold drink and just enjoying this great time with friends and uh, just getting to know one another, building community and uh, it's what it's all about for driving. It's about the, the, the mateship during the day but at the end of the day it's sitting around the campfire, cooking a dinner and just having a few laughs with some great mates. So from the team at Mad Matt Productions, stay safe on the trails.